we face multiple security challenges as we become more successful in this part of the world. Economically, we are more prosperous and uh, we are also now far more interconnected. At the same time, uh, as states become more successful, we've seen shifts in power relationship and then the broader regional security order has been changing uh, with far greater competition among states. At the transnational level, we have also seen far greater security challenges as a result of a greater movement of people and more traveling. Uh, recently, we have seen issues like uh, public health uh, challenges, like the MERS in Korea is now affecting uh, the whole region. Uh, of course, we also have to uh, face other uh, kind of transnational uh, threats beyond uh, public health, uh, such as uh, now we've seen the refugee problems and uh, the, uh, creating a lot of concern in the, in the region as a result of uh, human trafficking. Um, at the community level, I think we have also seen a lot of um, uh, extreme uh, ideological uh, groups emerging, affecting our part of the world. Even though Asia has been fortunate in the past um, few decades, we are actually also seeing uh, new security challenges uh, that really um, are coming from different directions and they're cutting across traditional boundaries of uh, state security or community security and moving, I think, uh, from much more macro level to even at the individual level.